Welcome to the Green Fume Hood Acid Sensor Replacement video. This video will cover everything you need to know to install a new acid sensor in your Green Fume Hood. Let's get started. You're going to need to locate your new acid sensor. It should be an electrostatic bag. You're also going to need your green maintenance card. You're going to need a number two Phillips handheld screwdriver. Also make sure you have a power drill with a number two Phillips head and your green fume hood setting sheet. If you have lost this, please contact our lab. With your fume hood powered down and also unplugged, now let's go ahead and remove the wires from the filter stacks. Let's start by unhooking the fan wire. Grab securely and pull out. Also grab the tubing and pull down on the tubing. Make sure you support the other end. Unhook the sash sensor. Now locate the temperature sensor, it kind of looks like a phone line, and unplug that as well. The final thing to unplug is going to be your light. Let's take your power drill and unhook the trim guard off the command module. Once you've done so, support the command module, pull it forward so you can access the ethernet cable and disconnect that. Now pull all your wires free so you know that they're not hooked on the hood and remove the command module. Take your drill and now we're going to remove all six of these screws from the back of the command module. Gently raise the back panel of the command module and remove the ethernet cord that is still attached on the inside. Now remove the cover all the way, exposing the sensors. You're going to locate which sensor is the correct sensor. The first sensor, the six-sided hexagon sensor, is the acid sensor. The octagon sensor is not the correct sensor. Make sure you use only a handheld number two screwdriver. Do not use a power drill. Remove the screws carefully without damaging the board. Once you have the screws removed, make sure you unplug the sensor. Delicately take out your new acid sensor from the bag. Plug the connection back together and line up the holes for screwing them in. Take your handheld screwdriver and delicately tighten the screws into the sensor. Do not over tighten. Next you're going to slide the panel up and make sure to connect the ethernet cable. Close the cover tightly again and now replace all six screws that you took out of the module. There are two holes in the back of the command module and there are also two hooks on the front of the fume hood. You're going to line them up and place the hooks inside the holes of the module. Take your ethernet cable and make sure to plug that back in securely. With everything connected, press it back onto the hood. Now take your screwdriver and tighten one of the screws into the command module. Let's plug all the wires in. Start with your light and plug that in. Now locate your fan wire and plug that in. Next find the temperature sensor and plug that in. Should look like a phone line. Now your sash sensor two small black connectors. Last but not least, run your tubing. Make sure you securely connect it. Also double check that nothing is kinked or being cut off on the tubing line. Remove that single screw and now mount the trim bracket. Make sure you support the command module and screw both screws into the top of the command module. Pull out your fuse, plug in the power cord, Next, you're going to place the maintenance card back into the command module. It should be the green card. Let's power back up. Press your fuse back in. Your screen will be illuminated now. Since we installed new hardware, your screen is going to go into mismatch mode. This is correct. You will see the red light glowing and an audible alarm should be going off. You are going to now refer to the configuration and reconfiguration video to install the update. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions about the filtration, please contact Erlab at 800-964-4434. If you have questions about your fume hood structure, contact AMS at 231-798-1111.